Megan Reacts, and we are back with another reaction video, man. And shouts out to Slap Ham, you feel me? It's Scary Hour, man. Y'all know what time it is. Today, we're going to be checking out scary videos you need to see. Um, I hope you guys have been enjoying these uh, like scary reactions every night, man. I really enjoy like like just giving you guys dope, dope content every single night, man. And I just... Like, hope you guys are just sharing the videos, man. And most of all, just, just hitting that thumbs up button, man. Because that really means a lot for the channel, man. Y'all don't know how important it is for you guys to hit that thumbs up button, man. But if you guys are checking this video out for the first time, I drop one of these every night at, at um, I mean, 11 p.m. So, so I need for you guys to hit that subscribe button. And most of all, hit that thumbs up button, man. But, but again, shouts out to Slap Ham, man. Let's get into it, yo. Let's go. How you doing? I'm Callan and this is Slapped Ham. The following creepy clips have been messing with people's heads. So hit that subscribe button and get ready for more scary content. Just like this. There are many strange things yet to be discovered in the dense forests of the earth. In this video from TikToker's ex Saraw team, we get a sneak peek at a mysterious ritual being practiced somewhere in Indonesia. The result has left many viewers in disbelief. The TikTokers captured the footage by setting up a hidden camera deep within the jungle. Soon someone appears and they begin working over a bowl that's surrounded by smoky incense and candles that light up the area. Bro, do y'all hear that? It sounds like some like somebody whispering a little bit. Listen. According to the TikTokers, this is a Dukan ritual, a ritual performed by smoking different types of wood. It's most commonly practiced by women and is said to have beautifying effects. Some also believe the ritual can be medicinal. So women, <laughs> like if y'all are trying to know what I'm saying, know what I'm saying, I'm guessing help you, I'm guessing, smoothing your skin or whatever, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm trying this ritual, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead, try it, you know what I'm saying? ...different types of wood. It's most commonly practiced by women and is said to have beautifying effects. Some also believe the ritual can be medicinal. The video gets even stranger when the TikTokers attempt to retrieve their camera. Take a look at what they see. Stop it, bro. What the hell is that? A flying couch or some shit? What the hell is? A large casket draped in a. That's a casket? Oh hell! Cloth can be seen flying above the trees. That's a cloth. <laughs> Surprisingly, this isn't the only time that a flying casket's been caught on film. YouTuber Sura Blendong recorded something similar during a live stream while exploring the forests of Indonesia. Bro, 
It's been suggested that these clips depict a type of demon from Indonesian mythology known as a Lampur. These creatures are said to travel in a flying coffin, from which they target their victims, most of whom are children. Knowing this information, could the strange ritual taking place in the first clip have been an attempt to somehow summon a Lampur? Or is it more likely that these sightings are simply an elaborate hoax? Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Often reality is scarier than fiction. In this footage from Instagrammer Velvet Horror, we can see how taking an ordinary drive can turn terrifying. The footage appears to have been recorded using a dash cam. It shows another car on the opposite side of a train intersection as the driver waits patiently to cross. Take a look at what happens. So it's like, bro, it, it, like, if the car would have went forward, that would have been over for, I mean, for who's ever driving that car. It would have been over. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh, bro. As you can see, the gates lift and the warning lights turn off. Seconds later, a train hurdles by at speed. Ain't no way, bro. Ain't no way. Luckily, neither driver had started to move. If they had, their car would have almost certainly been crushed in a devastating crash. For real. It's unclear over. what caused the crossing signal to make the gate lift too soon. And this is the perfect title, some final destination stuff, no cap. However, some who have seen the video seem more curious about why neither driver started moving when the gate first lifted. It was almost as if they somehow sensed imminent danger. Mm. Others noted the footage reminded them of something straight out of the Final Destination film. The footage certainly speaks for itself and it serves as a vivid reminder to always check for oncoming trains before attempting to cross the tracks. And bro, like, it's freaking me out even more because I crossed over two uh, um, like train tracks today, like coming home. So this is, oh the lord. Mm. Please be careful out there, y'all. Please be careful. Man. YouTuber Catch 'em All Fishing doesn't ordinarily feature paranormal encounters on his channel. Their content is usually related to fish or other wildlife. Damn. Unfortunately, it seems you don't have to be actively looking for scary situations to suddenly find yourself in one. Bro, do you see these big ass fish he had, bro? Like, what the? Catch 'em All Fishing doesn't ordinarily feature paranormal encounters on his channel. Their content is usually related. Look at that, bro. Related to fish or other Look wild that, bro. life. Look at that, bro. Lord Jesus. Unfortunately, it seems you don't have to be actively looking for scary situations to suddenly find yourself in one. In the video, the YouTuber heads into an underground structure, hoping to spot some pythons to feature on his channel. Python? Oh. I think I've seen this video. Yeah, I think we've seen this. Yeah, we've seen this on, uh, I want to say, Nukes Top 5. But he's looking for a snake, bro. A python. You know how big and... Bro. Man. Oh, I do not play with snakes, bro. Oh, Hello? my gosh. He's looking for one. Guys. It's really creepy in here. While the tunnels are dark, wet, and creepy, it seems the YouTuber wasn't expecting anything out of the ordinary to happen. Yet the footage suddenly turns sinister when he hears a mysterious voice echoing through the darkness. I guess it could be someone. Dude.
The source of the sounds is too far in the distance for any specific words to be made out. However, oh. it clearly... Oh, it's plain and simple with me. Get the hell out of there. Like, like yeah, we ain't gonna say like a little bit of nothing. We just gonna hit that exit door and, 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 and just take it to the crib. I, I mean, that's just me. Sounds like a human. That's just me. <laughs> After hearing the voice for a second time, the YouTuber looks around, hoping to simply find another person exploring the tunnel. As he turns to look behind him, he's suddenly startled by a creepy dark figure lurking in an adjoining passageway. Take a look. It's leaking outside from somewhere. Hello? Ooh, ooh. Bro, bro, I know it's been a while since I've seen this video, bro. I, I, oh my lord, bro. <laughs> oh my lord. Hello? Oh my lord. <laughs> the YouTuber quickly runs from whoever or whatever it is following him through the tunnel, and the video abruptly ends. What? Hello? Going back over the footage, I saw what looked like a person behind me the entirety of my search. So I got the hell out of there. While it's unsurprising to find animals lurking in dark underground places, stories of strange sewer monsters have terrified explorers of late. There have been numerous theories about these creatures. Undiscovered cryptids, escaped zoo animals, or just homeless humans. With only a quick glance at the figure available, there's no way to know exactly what was stalking this YouTuber on that fateful day. Nothing could be more peaceful than spending the day out at a country farm. That is, unless it has a barn like this one in this video shared to Instagram by Ghost Inspector Greg. In the short clip, we see a shot of a quaint wooden barn surrounded by foliage. However, if you take a close look at the barn door, the serenity of the scene is quickly dispelled. Oh, it is like a little sh like a shadow figure. At first, there seems to be a streak of mist inside the doorway. A close-up soon reveals that the shape is actually moving, almost as if it were alive. It dashes to the edge of the doorway and remains still for a moment. Then it moves back into the darkness, where it finally disappears. The streak of mist doesn't have any features that make it look particularly human, but the way it moves certainly resembles a living being. It's been suggested that it could be an example of what paranormal experts call ectomist, a spirit that exists in the form of mist or smoke that hovers just above the ground. Some say that ectomist is actually the remnants of a person's spirit. Really? Unfortunately, there's not a lot of information to run with on this short clip, so until more info comes to hand, it will have to remain a mystery. Randonautica is the smartphone craze that- Here we go with this damn app, man. This app is creepy, bro. If you guys know, this is an app that you download and it takes you some places that's like literally in your area for like paranormal activity or some weird ghost stuff, bro. Who would download this app? Y'all are crazy. I won't. It allows users to explore the area around them and hopefully have some interesting adventures along the way. No! Unfortunately, for TikToker Tyler Zach, their experience ended up being much more than they bargained for. The idea- Yo, like, why is she looking like that? Even though I feel like I've seen this video as well. But it's like, bro, like, she is looking crazy right now, bro. She's looking at, like, she's looking at your soul right now. Their experience ended up being much more than they bargained for. 
The idea behind Randonautica is simple. You enter a certain intention for the journey ahead by choosing a particular word or concept that you wish to manifest. <coughs> the app then gives you a particular point on the map of the area around you, and you use the built-in GPS to navigate there. Right, no, Suppose bro, like, like, who would download this app and, 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 and like, and have, no, bro, there's no fun in this, bro. Supposedly, <laughs> you'll experience something that relates to your intention at that spot or on your way to it. In this case, the TikToker decided to tempt fate by choosing the word evil. It seems that it didn't take long for their intention to manifest, as shortly after heading towards the point on the map that the app suggested, they spotted a sinister looking woman on the opposite side of the street. Oh my god, Tyler! <laughs> Yo, she look bro, like... The woman glared. She is looking at somebody's soul right now, bro. Like, what the world? Glares at the TikToker with a furious expression on her face. Yeah, and it's not the expression that evokes the concept of evil, but rather her eyes. If you look closely, they appear to be completely black. Was it just a crazy coincidence that this TikToker encountered the woman? Or does the Randonautica app really possess the ability to lead users to evil? Let me know if you've ever had a creepy rando Nordica experience in the comments no. section down No, because I don't got the app, and I, and I hope y'all don't got the app. Like, what? Below. Oh my god, Tyler. It's <laughs> crazy, bro. <laughs> Playgrounds are rarely ever thought of as scary places. However, if this video is to be believed, you might want to stick to visiting them during the daytime. The clip shows two people hanging out, having fun while playing around on the jungle gym. Then, as they move underneath one of the platforms, the camera holder pans around the area. Take a look at what they see. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Bro, 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 bro. <laughs> Yo, what the hell, bro? Bro. There, peering down at them from above is a creepy looking face. It appears gray and bloated. Its eyes seem to stare lifelessly at the pair as they quickly run away. I hate y'all, bro. I hate y'all, bro. I cannot, like, yo, like, who would you wanna? Depictions of demons with a similar appearance are not uncommon. The Gospels tell the story of the exorcism of the Gerasene demoniac, in which Jesus casts demons out of a man and sends them into a herd of swine. The pigs then jump into a river to drown themselves, thus protecting the people from the evil that lurked inside. What? While this theory is certainly an interesting one, the style of the clip is reminiscent of Japanese horror films. If this is the case, then it's possible that this clip might have simply come from an obscure film or TV show. So what do you think? Could this strange face seen at the playground really be that of a ghoulish demon? Or is it actually just a snippet from a movie? If you have any information, we'd love to hear about it down below. Oh my gosh, dog. Like, that shit literally just gave me... Bro. Before we take a look at our last piece of eerie footage... Turn on all Yo, steering tell it crazy, no. Unfortunately, this last video on our list appears to have been captured on a classic ghost hunting potato cam. Whether this is due to its age or whether it's a deliberate attempt to hide the fact that it's fake will have to be up to you to decide. Uploaded to YouTube by Mode Is One Yahaya, the clip shows an evening ride that goes terribly wrong with the appearance of a mysterious figure. Take a look. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As you can see, there are. Yeah, see, I thought that was part of the pole, though. When I, I, I thought it was part of the pole, but that's actually somebody standing in like a white dress right there, bro. I thought it was part of the pole. As you can see, there appears to be a strange figure cloaked all in white. Whatever it is, it spooks the people in the video and they immediately run away. 
The YouTuber seems to believe that what they saw was actually a Pachong, an Indonesian ghost that appears wrapped in a white shroud. Indonesian funerary rites typically involve wrapping the deceased's body in white before burial. It's this shroud that the Pachong is said to appear in after death. It's thought that these spirits typically move around by floating just above the ground as their feet are tied together in the shroud. Their appearance beneath the covering supposedly varies based on how long the person has been dead for. Although the sight of a shrouded body hovering just above the ground is surely enough to terrify anyone, the Pachong are not typically considered dangerous. Still, no one would blame you for wanting to keep your distance from one of these creepy spirits. I got bills. I don't got time for that, bro. But shots out to slap ham, man. Like, that was a banger. Even though we saw, like, two of those already, man. But they were still scary, bro. It was still scary as expected, bro. Like, shots out to slap the ham. They be having these dope ass videos. Like, let me know what you guys thought about this reaction, man. Like, which number was scariest to you guys? Make sure you guys are tuned in tomorrow when I drop another one at 11 p.m. Gang and SRT. Game, I am out this thing, man. Let's get it.